Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making keto French toast sticks. These French toast sticks are less than one net carb per serving, so you have to try them. They're gonna fit into your macros. They're absolutely delicious, and you can make a big batch at once. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our eggs, and we are using eight eggs. So the, this recipe is very popular when you're doing like an egg fast, um, so let me know if you guys want me to do, oopsie, don't do that. <laughs> let me know if you want me to do a step-by-step -step guide on how to do an egg fast. And an egg fast is usually used when you wanna reset, when you're getting started on keto. I mean, there's so many different reasons why people do um, an egg fast. But um, yeah, just let me know in the comments below and I would be more than happy to film a, you know, a step-by-step -step egg fast guide okay and this is eight eggs perfection and now we're gonna do four ounces of softened cream cheese okay i just put this in the microwave for a bit but you can just leave it out while you're prepping all the rest of your stuff and now we do a quarter cup of sweetener i'm just gonna add everything in super super simple honestly that you make everything in a blender or you can even mix it so this here is two tablespoons of baking powder Okay. okay, and this is vanilla flavoring, so we're doing a tablespoon and a half, but if you're doing extract, just use one teaspoon because it's a lot stronger. And then we have one stick of butter, okay? And that's obviously melted. We're just gonna put all this right in. And we have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, and now we blend. Okay, so we ended up blending this for about 30 seconds. You just want it to all, you know, just be well incorporated. You can use a stand mixer, a hand mixer, a blender, whatever you have, you can use, okay? Um, let me know if you've already made the egg loaf. And um, so this is a traditional like egg loaf recipe, but we're making them into French toast. So let me know if you've already tried it and if you have like a special variation that you've tried that you absolutely love because this is what I, how I typically make it, but you know, I love to hear your, your ideas. We have our loaf pan and what I'm gonna do is just quickly spray it before adding our parchment paper just so that it sticks. See, it actually sticks when you add the oil the, at the bottom because if not, it just keeps coming up. And now we spray inside so it doesn't stick. Okay. And we're just going to pour this right in. Beautiful. And now we're just going to spray, sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top. And if you don't love cinnamon, then you don't have to, you know, sprinkle any, but I do. So. And I also feel like it gives it a really nice color. So make sure that you have your oven preheated at 350 degrees, okay? Let's go ahead and bake this. Okay, so remember our oven is set at 350. We're gonna check it in 15 minutes on convection. So if you don't have it on convection, I would leave it, check it at 20. Okay, so our loaf is done. This was a total of 20 minutes. Now, it was nice and fluffy, but I had to stab it in the middle to make sure that it was cooked, and so then it fell but it's still gonna be delicious. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, so I just wanna let you know that no matter what, your loaf will collapse, okay? So it doesn't matter. It will look pretty for a few seconds, but it will end up collapsing, so do not worry about that. Now let's go ahead and take it out. Look at that beauty. See, that's why you wanna spray your parchment because it doesn't stick. Look at that, perfection. Okay, so right now we are cutting our French toast sticks, but this can very, um, very well be eaten just as a loaf. And as you can tell, I left it a tiny bit undercooked because we are going to finish cooking it stovetop, and I'm gonna show you right now. So as you can tell, it is a little moist in here, and it's gonna finish cooking on the stove, okay? But you can totally, totally cook it all the way through in the oven. You would just leave it for a few more minutes. You can see these are gonna be our French toast sticks. And I'm gonna show you how we cook them and how I serve them. So let's go to the stove.
Okay, so now that our French toast is served, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of maple syrup and I'm going to warm it up because I love warm syrup. So I'm gonna heat it up for about 10 seconds. Okay, so I heated this up for about five seconds. And now, of course, let's go in for the taste test with some warm maple syrup. Oh my gosh, look at how hot that is. I don't know if you can see the steam, but I'm not trying to burn my, I'm not trying to burn my mouth. And you have some French toast sticks. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm, mm-mm. These are actually, it's like a perfect breakfast. Again, you can actually make the whole loaf. You can make half of the loaf. Say you just, you don't like leftovers or whatever the case, make half a loaf and then, you know, have it for, for breakfast and share it with someone. You can actually half the recipe or make a half of a half recipe. This obviously makes about 10 French toast sticks and this is super, super filling. So you don't have to worry about like, you know, being hungry in an hour, like this is not that breakfast. You are gonna eat and you're gonna just like move on with your day and be super satisfied. Because remember, we have our eggs, we have our butter, we have the cream cheese, so there's a lot of proteins and um, healthy fats in this. So yeah, this is definitely a must make, especially if you are really trying to get into ketosis. If you're new to keto, um, this is one of those breakfasts that has almost zero carbs. So that's what you're looking for when you're first starting out because um, that's how you're gonna get into ketosis a lot quicker. So yeah, this is definitely one of those recipes to try. And um, remember, if you guys wanna know more about an egg fast, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to explain how it works. And this is a recipe that you can use while um, doing an egg fast, so. And don't forget to check out my blog. It's lowcarblove.com, and I have most of these recipes on there so that you can print them. So they're printable recipes on there. Of course, if you still want a little bit more of me, then make sure that you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. I'm lowcarblove on both. And turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos on here. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy this recipe, and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.